These universities in Canada have been numerically ranked based on their positions in the overall Best Global Universities rankings. Schools were evaluated based on their research performance and their ratings by members of the academic community around the world and within North America. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top six best global universities in Canada. Just wait till you see what's at number two and one, something you may not even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and other things and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 6. The University of Montreal The University of Montreal is a public institution that traces its roots back to 1878. Initially a branch of the Université Laval de Québec, it became an independent institution in 1919. The university is affiliated with two other schools, Polytechnique Montreal, an engineering school, and HEC Montreal, a business school. The university and its affiliated schools are located in Montreal, Quebec, one of the most populous metropolitan areas in Canada. Around one-fourth of the student body across all three institutions studies at the graduate level. The university offers housing for full-time undergraduate and graduate students. UDEM, as the school is sometimes called, has more than a dozen academic divisions that span the social, natural and health sciences, as well as arts and humanities disciplines. The primary language of instruction is French, although several graduate programs, such as doctoral programs in biochemistry, neurosciences and pharmacology, accept English-speaking students. Tutoring, workshops and other resources are available for students who want to improve their French language skills. The university's academic calendar is based on a semester system and tuition costs are higher for international students. The Institute for Research in Immunology and Cancer, the Cyber Justice Laboratory and the International Center for Comparative Criminology are among the university's many research units. Some University of Montreal researchers collaborate on projects with institutions located in other parts of the world, primarily in France, Germany, Italy, the UK and the US. At 5. University of Alberta The University of Alberta is a public institution that was founded in 1908. Located in the province of Alberta in Western Canada, around 80% of the university's students study at the undergraduate level. The university is made up of five campuses, four of which are in the city of Edmonton, including the main north campus, which covers around 50 city blocks. The university's fifth site, the Augustana campus, is located roughly an hour away from Edmonton in the rural city of Camrose. Some 1,000 students study at the smaller Augustana campus, which focuses on liberal arts and sciences. The university offers studies in a range of disciplines, such as arts, business, engineering and medicine. English is the language of instruction, with the exception of the university's campus Saint-Jean, where French is the primary language. More than 20% of the University of Alberta student body is international and tuition costs are higher for these students. The school's academic calendar is made up of fall and winter terms as well as shorter optional spring and summer terms. University housing is available for undergraduate and graduate students in Edmonton and at the Augustana campus. The University of Alberta is affiliated with major research institutions such as the Multidisciplinary National Institute for Nanotechnology. The university also has more than 400 research, teaching and exchange agreements with schools and other organizations around the world, such as the University of Munich in Germany and the University of Western Australia. Next up at 4, McMaster University. McMaster University is a public institution that was founded in 1887. The Canadian University's main campus is in a suburban neighbourhood of Hamilton, Ontario, near the western edge of Lake Ontario and not far from the US border. Other campuses are located in downtown Hamilton, Burlington, Kitchener-Waterloo and Niagara. The University's international students hail from more than 75 countries and its full-time faculty members come from more than 55. Tuition costs are higher for non-Canadian students. University-operated student housing is available, with options including themed living communities such as an all-female community, a healthy active living community and a global perspectives community. The university has six main academic divisions – engineering, health sciences, humanities, science, social sciences and the De Groot School of Business. 
and the primary language of instruction is English. McMaster University also has an arts and science program that enrolls around 60 students each year and offers a more interdisciplinary undergraduate experience. The academic calendar for McMaster undergraduates is semester-based and includes an optional spring-summer term. The graduate-level academic calendar has three terms, fall, winter and summer. Some of the university's more than 60 research centres and institutes are the Centre for Health Economics and Policy Analysis, the McMaster eBusiness Research Centre and the Canadian Centre for Electron Microscopy. The university also has its own nuclear reactor, which is used for research. An interesting fact about the university is that one-fifth of Albert Einstein's brain sits in a jar in one of the school's labs where a McMaster neuroscientist studies it and other specimens. Next up at 3, McGill University. McGill University is a public institution that was founded in 1821 and is located in Quebec, Canada. The university has two campuses, the downtown campus in Montreal and the McDonald campus in Saint anne de bellevue The two campuses are approximately 20 miles apart. The primary language of instruction is English, although in a recent year around 20% of university students said French was their mother tongue. In fact, around half of the population of Montreal speaks French as a first language. Around one-fourth of the student body is international, with students hailing from more than 150 countries. University housing is available for undergraduate and graduate students on both campuses. The university is made up of 10 faculties and schools, agricultural and environmental sciences, arts, dentistry, education, engineering, law, management, medicine, music and science that offer around 300 programs of study. Around two-thirds of the university's students study at the undergraduate level. Tuition costs are higher for international students and McGill's academic calendar is based on a semester system. The university is affiliated with multiple teaching hospitals and its medical school is the oldest in Canada. Research at the university takes place at more than 40 McGill research centres, such as the McGill Centre for Bioinformatics, the Centre on Population Dynamics and the Centre for Intellectual Property Policy, and at other affiliated institutes and hospitals. The creation of the first artificial blood cell is among the research achievements associated with the university. Number 2 the University of British Columbia. The University of British Columbia is a public institution located in the Canadian province of British Columbia. The university was established in 1908 and opened in 1915. It has two main campuses, the Vancouver campus and the Okanagan campus located in Kelowna. The Vancouver campus is the larger of the two, accommodating more than 85% of UBC students. In a recent year, 23% of students at the Vancouver campus and around 13% of the Okanagan campus were international. Tuition costs at UBC vary by degree program and are higher for international students. University housing is guaranteed for first-year UBC undergraduates and newly admitted international students who are second-year undergrads receive housing priority too. Housing is also available for returning undergraduate and graduate students. The Vancouver campus offers more than two dozen academic divisions, while the Okanagan campus has eight. The academic calendars for both campuses include two-term winter and summer sessions, although the summer session is optional. The primary language of instruction at UBC is English. First-year international students can opt to enrol in the Vantage One program at UBC's Vantage College, which aims to help students improve their English, in part by stretching their first year of study from eight to eleven months. Following completion, students transition into their second year of the UBC degree program. Examples of UBC research facilities include Canada's National Triumph Subatomic Physics Laboratory, the Centre for Sustainable Food Systems at UBC Farm and the Institute for Healthy Living and Chronic Disease Prevention. And finally at number one, University of Toronto. The University of Toronto is a public institution that was founded in 1827. Around 80% of its students study at the undergraduate level. The school has three campuses, St. George, Mississauga and Scarborough, 
located in and around Toronto. Roughly 95% of the university's graduate students study at the downtown St. George campus, as do upward of 60% of its undergraduates. Thousands of foreign students from more than 160 countries and regions attend the University of Toronto. In a recent year, the top countries of origin for non-Canadian students were China, India and the US. Tuition is higher for international students. The university comprises academic divisions focused on a range of disciplines such as applied science and engineering, management and public health. All told, the university offers some 700 undergraduate programs and more than 200 masters and doctoral programs. The primary language of instruction is English. The academic calendar varies between the three campuses. Student housing is available on each campus and the accommodations are guaranteed for all first-year undergraduate students. The university has more than 44 libraries that house 19 million plus physical volumes. One major innovation that came out of the University of Toronto is insulin, which researchers discovered in the early 1920s. The university's Banting and Best Diabetes Centre is named after two of these researchers, one of whom eventually went on to win the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for this work. And there you have the best global universities in Canada. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Check out more videos on global universities in our University Guide playlist. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.